I just want to give my two cents here, and I'm, we're going to spend 10 minutes, 15 minutes in the most, talking about some scenarios and how can I help you guys figure out what is the income over feed cost or some measurements of efficiency at your uh, at farm. So that's what you're going to be looking at, uh, the income over feed costs and also their efficiency of your herd, okay? Uh, one thing that I want to tell is that there is no secret, no magic, and we can do all this by hand, okay? So we have some guidelines, some uh, rules of thumb that we say that one pound of dry matter intake, I'm going to be referring to DMI, dry matter intake, uh, it's equal to two pounds of milk in a Jersey cow or two pounds and a half uh, of milk in a hosting cow, okay? And we can determine, so we have the... Uh, 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 the requirements of dairy cow tells us uh, that the dry matter intake can be estimated by that formula that I can show you. So if you have the body weight and how much milk a cow is producing, we can pretty much predict how much is going to be eating, okay? So here you go. I have to do that one time at least, no more. If we have a cow with body weight 1,500 producing 85 pounds of milk and with that milk fat, uh, we can start plugging in numbers in the formula where we're going to have that 27 that I'm multi multiplying 0.18 times the body weight and now I have to figure out this 4% fat corrected milk. So I'm just transforming the milk of that cow in a 4% fat milk. Okay, so then I can be able even to compare among uh, breeds for example. So the 4% fat corrected milk, we have another formula that we can do by multiplying the amount of milk the cow is producing by this factor and now the amount of fat by this other number. Now, what is that other number? The amount of fat the cows are producing is pretty much easy to figure out. So it's the amount of milk times the percent fat. So this cow is producing 2.97 pounds of fat per day. So therefore, her 4% fat directed milk is going to be 78.55 and she should be eating around 50.5 pounds of dry matter per day. Okay, that's what the NRC, that's why I, what we are going to be getting it. So you guys can have an idea what your cows are eating and what they were supposed to be eating, okay? And of course that's always checked by what actually is uh, happening at your farm. Uh, to measure efficiency, so we're going to have that input, that is how much the cows are eating, and then you're going to access to something of output like milk production. And I'm highlighting here two of pretty much the most uh, used ones, but remember you have all these bullet points here that they can tell you a way of measuring efficiency in cows. There is a really good uh, webinar at uh, Hortz Derriman uh, did where Mike Hutchins talks about all these uh, items and how can you guys measure feed efficiency. So I would go to the archives and, and check that out if you have a chance later. But what I'm going to use for this purpose is let's use this pounds of fat corrected milk per pound of uh, intake as one of the measurements, okay? And when you divide that, how much the cow is eating through what the cow is producing, now I'm calling it their efficiency. So we here at the University of Illinois have some guidelines for you guys, okay? So for example, the cow that I just showed you before, the 1500 pound cow, she is uh, she is producing 78.55 pounds of the 4% fat tracted milk, let's take that, and she's eating 50.5 pounds of dry matter. So if you divide that, that would give us a dairy efficiency of 1.55. So if she was a cow, for example, in a one group TMR, like we have here at our university, all the cows, they get the same diet, should be pretty good or even above our expectations. However, if she was a cow in a high group, mature cows below 90 days in milk, I would expect a little bit more from that cow and I would say mm, she's not the best uh, efficient cow in my herd. I should try to improve some of the things, okay? So efficiency, it's input or whatever the cows are eating that you guys can access in your herd uh, divided by what she's producing and pretty much we are using here is the milk and using some um, milk components as well, okay? Now the challenge that I have for you here is if I have high 
their efficiency. Does that mean that I have higher profitability? And just to put in account, do you guys like to have a herd with uh, 50 pounds of milk average? For our Midwestern standards here, uh, 50 pounds is pretty low and I'm not sure it's going to pay the bills. We have, it's not hard to find in Illinois and Wisconsin around here, herds with yearly average of more than 100 pounds of milk per cow per day. That's a lot of milk. So my point being is, if a cow is producing 50 pounds of milk, uh, uh, of milk per day, okay, and she's eating 25 pounds, her dairy efficiency is two. So you'd say, wow, this is a great cow, dairy efficiency of two. However, she's not paying the bills. You need to make money off that cow, so usually you're going to be working on the break-even uh, uh, component of the equation or how much money I'm getting out of that cow. Okay, And one of the things is that we know that feed costs are one of the, the biggest or the largest amount of money that the cost of production is made of, feed. So I want to challenge you that just their efficiency is not enough. You need an extra step, okay? And one of the things that I believe is uh, giving you the message is income over feed cost. So how much money you're making per cow after you pay your feed bills, okay? And you can easily access that by all the changes you do. However, I just wanted to highlight that sometimes you'd like to have some things in your diet that is not going to be the most efficient one or is not going to be the cheapest one, but you just need to have it there to make sure cows are healthy and the reproduction. Remember, cows, they have to calve every year. At least that's what you would expect them and that's why you guys work so hard for it. Okay, So income over feed cost. And my challenge again is what is your cow or your herd income of feed cost? And sometimes it's a little bit confusing. That's why we developed a pretty simple Excel that we're calling the Dairy Focus Toolbox for Dairy Efficiency where you guys can put your numbers there and figure that out. Okay. So that's my way of, our way here of helping you guys to, to work on this. So this one information that you, you guys will need is how much your cows are eating. So here our uh, herd manager, Henry, he does a pretty good job on every day. He knows the amount of feed he needs to feed the, that lot. I'm talking about lot one and lot three. We have two lots here. Every farm is different. We fed that day 6150. This is the dry matter of the feed. This is the error, so he can go back and talk to his feeder and say, hey, let's try to improve this. This was the refusal that he found the next day and the dry matter. We don't have a, a cover bunker, so this can wait a lot sometimes when it rains, for example. We know here the intake, and we know how much each, each cow ate that day because we had 55 cows. We had 55 cows in that lot. Therefore, the average of that week was this one, 50 uh, pounds, 44 pounds. We have some jerseys in this lot and cows uh, in more late lactation. Bottom line, the average is 47 pounds of dry matter intake. Okay, uh, So when you use that, now I can use that in the tool. So again, this is a broader vision of the two. I'm going to show you. You guys can go to the website, dairyfocus.illinois.edu. You have that tool over there. I'm going to show a little bit later. Uh, and I'm going to build up uh, one scenario here, but remember, I'm pretty sure that you guys already have in your minds at least 10 or 15 scenarios going on now, how things can change, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you this left part of the, uh, the tool right now. So the first thing here is I want to highlight that the orange uh, squares, that's where you can type your information. The blue ones, that's where you don't need to type. Uh, we are calculating the everything for you already. And uh, so here you're going to get your milk check. And even yesterday, John uh, shared with me some other options that you can uh, build on here to be more representative even for the country. But here in the Midwest, we, you guys get paid for components heavily. So I'm just taking out of your milk check and I'm putting all your money here. The point is, in the end, 
you need to have your milk price represented in this spreadsheet and I'm going to show you exactly uh, uh, where you should look at that. Okay, so you put all your prices for components. This is your cost per day to feed your cows in a dry matter. Okay, and here I'm just dividing dividing this one by 47. That's how much it cost me the dry matter per pound. Okay, then I go lower in this equation where I have my herd here that I can have lot one, lot two. It doesn't matter. You guys can change all the time. It's our orange block. You can do it. This is how much my cows are producing. This much fat. This much protein. This much other solids. This is how much she's eating. We just saw the 47. This is the price per pound. That brings me to how much I'm getting per cow per day. So my revenue per cow per day is this one. And again, this one is that your milk check needs to match. If I'm getting $24 per hundred weight in my milk check, 24 needs to be there. So your numbers that you typed up there needs to match here in the Europe. But the point is, I'm making $11.63, $11.63 with the over the feed cost I'm making with this cow. Okay, so feed represents 36% of my my cost here. Okay. Uh, now, what I want to do in this scenario is, let's say we change, okay, the dry matter of this cow. You put fans, you put uh, better uh, comfort to those cows. Now, you can make them eat three pounds more. As a, the rule of thumb, you can get from three pounds of milk, let's say you're going to have six, ex, uh, six extra pounds of milk. That's your milk yield here. And see the impact that you have. You pretty much are getting one dollar more per cow per day just by making your cows a little bit more comfortable or using any strategy or making them eating uh, three pounds more uh, of dry matter per day. Okay. Uh, and you know, you can easily multiply number of cows you have per day, per month, per year, and you can see the amount of money you could be making there. Uh, the second part I'm doing it is just calculating for you all those uh, types of milk that I've mentioned, energy corrected milk, okay, uh, she's going to be producing more energy corrected milk because pretty much she's producing more milk, the solids we kept the same, but we can play with all those numbers, remember, orange uh, squares, you can type everything. So this is how it changes your 3.5 energy corrected milk where I'm accounting for protein here, milk protein, and all your fats, 3.5 or 4% fat. And in the end, what we have is a dairy efficiency. It's calculating for you. Here I'm bringing again our recommendations for, for your farm, for your herd. So we have a dairy efficiency of 1.58. And if I had the extra three pounds of uh, intake with six pounds of milk, I would have an efficiency of 1.61. So I could improve efficiency by improving comfort, for example, okay? So, scenario two could be something that you add corn gluten feed to your diet and you add canola meal and make it cheaper and you think you're going to get more milk protein out of it. That's a scenario that you can play. Because of time, uh, I'm not going to do that. We can do that another day, another opportunity. So, I'm going to jump to where you guys can get this um, spreadsheet to use. So, you click in the Dairy Focus Illinois, you can go to Research and Extension. Uh, and you're going to find the tool over there.